I feel as if the fundamental struggle of labor is to decide for themselves the way they do their jobs. It seems like they really just want to be able to do their jobs at their own pace without management looking over their backs every other moment and telling them to snap to it and treating them like they're lapdogs. The rules are often decided by unaccountable management that are hired by absentee shareholders. And the workers have come to two radically different conclusions on how to solve this crisis. On one side, the workers could choose to threaten violence and work stoppages, and it forces the management to accommodate their demands and to change the rules. But it doesn't fundamentally change the structure of who has the power. On the other hand, they could join companies that would allow for self-ownership. And if these companies didn't exist, then they should start them. They weren't able to achieve this goal in the past because they couldn't get enough credit, especially considering the high startup costs for businesses in a manufacturing economy that was sustained by constant war and destruction. After the long peace brought such prosperity, we began to overproduce. And as a result, we transitioned toward a service economy. And I know a lot of Keynesians like to say that the problem isn't overproduction, but underconsumption. But they have a fundamental misunderstanding that production should be catered around the demand for it and the consumer demand rather than the other way around. And this shift toward a service economy along with technological advances in electronics and networking, have radically decreased the startup costs for businesses. So the question is, why hasn't self-ownership increased? It's because startup costs have been artificially increased by zoning laws, license and permit requirements, and other barriers which protect big business from cheap competition. The cost of renting commercial real estate and meeting all of the arbitrary minimum requirements makes starting a business prohibitively expensive. Free market reforms would allow small businesses to compete with these government-privileged corporate giants. And the increased competition will allow us to discover the most efficient management techniques. While companies have incorporated incentive-based payment structures, free market reforms will show us that workers' self-management is more productive. And when the worker owns the entire value of what he creates, is that's the ultimate incentive to work. When a person is forced to work for the profit of others, there is so much less incentive for the worker to, to achieve his creative potential. And no amount of administrative oversight or red tape would allow management to harness this productive potential as it comes when they love the benefits of what they do.